This video demonstration is brought to you by Heart Internet, the UK's number one reseller hosting company. This is Ben from Heart Internet, and welcome to part three in the series of how to customize your host pay template. Now in this episode, I'll be taking you through the remaining steps to fully reskin your host pay theme. Now continuing on from episode two, I'll walk you through how to change link colors, heading title styles, and also editing some elements in the front end of the admin control panel. Now, if you've been following the tutorials, you'll notice that more boxes on the home page have been restyled from when we last left off. Now, don't fret, as you haven't actually missed any crucial information, I've simply applied the same box color changing technique to the remaining boxes on the page, just to purely speed up this process. Okay, so firstly, I'm going to be showing you how to change the link colors in the navigation area of your website. If I hover over a link, you'll notice it turns to a light blue color. Now this certainly clashes with the current skin we have, so I'm going to change it to a more appropriate orange color. To know what we need to change in the style sheet, we'll need to pop open Firebug. If we click the inspect tool, and then hover over the element we want to change, which is the link, it'll tell us in the properties panel that it's the div element nav, and it's an A. A tag basically means link. Uh, so it's using the color FFF, so that's the white. So if we go to our style sheet, which is theme.css, and there we are, there's the navigation link properties. Defined as the ID nav with the A link, and also the ID nav with the A hover. Now in this demonstration, we want to pay particular attention to the A hover property. Currently, it's given 33CCF, which is that blue color we saw in the browser. Now we want to change this to a more appropriate orange. Now to do this, open Fireworks or your graphics package. And I'm gonna change the blue to a more darker brown color to match my theme. Now to do this, I need to inspect the hex value properties. I'm gonna copy that to my clipboard. And we're gonna paste it in place of where the blue is within the style sheet, just here like so. And save your changes, open up your FTP program and copy across the amended theme.css style sheet, overwriting existing files. Then you're going to pop back to your website, refresh the page, hover over link and there you go, a much darker hover effect. Scroll down the page, you'll notice the news links are still in a standard blue color. Now to change these, I'm going to use the same technique I did when changing the navigation. Firstly, I'll inspect the element with Firebug, like so. Now inspect the element we want to change. Now the properties box is saying it's the ID news box and it's the H6 within this. So we'll need to open our style sheet, like so and find the property H6 within the news box. So there's the uh, H6 and the news box ID, and there's the color label that we'll need to change. So I'm now gonna open my graphics package and select two colors, one for the standard link color and the other for the hover. For the standard color, I'll use this lighter orange, copy the hex value, and paste it in place of the existing color like so. Now, unlike the navigation link style we changed earlier, the news box H6 doesn't have one itself, so we're going to need to add one. Now, it's really simple to do. Just take the existing style, paste underneath, add colon hover, and then we'll just add the new color in there. Get the darker hover color you want. Copy the hex value. And just paste in there, like so. If we save that, then upload it to your website. Overwrite any existing files. Back to your website. And refresh. There you are, you'll see the new style has been applied. Now, I'd also like this same link style to be applied to any other links that appear within the entire website. Now, to do this, go back to your style sheet. 
and copy these colors to the single A tags at the top of the style sheet, which are here, A and A hover. Firstly, replace the A and take the news box H6 hover property and replace it with the standard A hover, like so. Save and upload and the colors will be applied. Okay, so the next element we want to change with the latest news heading on the front page, just here. Now I'm sure you can guess the next step, and that's to open Firebug and inspect the element. Okay, this is telling us it's with the ID news box and it's the H5 element within this. Okay, so go back to your style sheet and find the news box H5 property, like so, and you'll find the color that you need to change. Now I want to make this color the same color as the links underneath that we just changed. So in order to do this, we can use the color underneath like so, or we could go back to the graphics package and pick it that way. Um, but really this is just a quicker way of doing it. Save that and upload over our existing files as usual. Go back to the web page and refresh. There we are. We see the latest news has changed a much nicer orange. So at this stage, you would have now successfully have changed the front end of your customer template. The next step I'll be showing you is to how to change some elements within the control panel. Firstly, go to the control panel area, like so. Now the first thing you'll notice is that there really isn't much styling necessary as the control panel theme fits in nicely with the front end design. Now we did this deliberately to ensure almost little to no additional work was needed by our resellers so they can spend more time trying to sell the products. Now you can of course change the styling yourself quite easily using the style sheet. For example, you could change the control panel button colors from this gray color to orange. Now much like we did on the front page design, we're gonna inspect the elements with Firebug. This tells us this is the property ULCPLI. Now we'll look for this property within the style sheet, like so. Now the current gray color is 666. I'm going to change this to orange, just like that. Now if we save the changes, upload the style sheet to the server, hit refresh, we are, the style has been applied. Now that concludes our video tutorial on how to customize your host page template. I hope you found it a really useful resource. Now remember, you can take the methods learned in these tutorials such as inspecting elements with Firebug to make all sorts of imaginative changes to your website. I wish you the very best of luck in designing and implementing your new template. Now if you have any further comments or feedback, feel free to get in touch with us over at our blog which is heartinternet.co.uk forward slash blog or via the feedback section within your customer control panel. All the very best.